Welcome to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. Today is August 15, 2020, and we are going to show you the most basic steps in starting your family history research. One of the most common and frequently asked questions I get from my readers and viewers is, where should one start in tracing one's family tree? The answer to that question, we will be discussing in the next few minutes. But before that, let us talk a little about genealogy. Genealogy is a word that not many Filipinos are familiar with. And yet, ask any Filipino about his or her family and you'll discover that he or she knows quite a lot, just as a genealogist would. Genealogy is an old field of study that began formally in Europe. The word genealogy comes from the Greek, genia, which means family, and logos, which means knowledge. In other words, it is the study of one's family, one's family history to be precise. Before it even became a formal branch of history, People already kept records of their family trees, which is really the most basic of genealogical work. The release of Roots, the saga of an American family, was credited as the reason for the increase of interest in genealogy by people from all walks of life. Roots, the saga of an American family, published in the 70s, is a chronicle of the family of Kunda Kinte, the author Alex Haley's African ancestor who was sold to slavery. Since the 70s, more and more people have been tracing their family histories. Over the years, people's interest in genealogy has grown to such an extent that it has, according to Google, become the second most searched category on the internet after pornography. In the Philippines over a span of five years, the search for the word genealogy in Google has not gone above 50%. This shows a very low interest among Filipinos, then. However, when the search word is family tree or even family reunion, one can see a spike in the searches, especially with the term family tree. So it is not that Filipinos are disinterested in genealogy. It is just that genealogy is a word that not many Filipinos are familiar with. And yet, ask any Filipino about his family and you'll discover that he knows quite a lot. Because the family has always played a key role in Filipinos' culture, knowledge of one's family tree or history is very common among Filipinos, especially those living in the rural areas. So to answer our earlier question where should one start? First of all, it is important to start with yourself. By yourself, this means what do you know already? Many of us start this journey thinking we have absolutely nothing to begin the research with. In fact, even just at home, we have many available resources already. Any member of your family, especially the older ones, should be interviewed. They should have bits and pieces of the history, and if you are lucky, perhaps one of them is the keeper of family memorabilia. Most families have one member who takes care of the family's documents. Or perhaps there are books about your family already. Many families have souvenir programs made for reunions, and someone must have kept a copy of it. Or maybe someone has written a book about your family already. This is rare, but it happens in some families. But even without this, most likely you or someone in your family has kept copies of your birth certificate or record. These are good starting points for your research. Birth certificates contain information about you and your parents and those are enough to start your research.
In genealogy, work from the present to the past. Start with yourself, and discover as much as you can with the past. The best way to help you track what you have and what else you need is to use a pedigree chart. Use a pedigree chart to list down what you already know so you will not be starting just about anywhere. When you Google the term, it may give you other definitions from other field of studies. In genealogy, simply put, a pedigree chart is a chart that traces your individual family history back through time, listing on this chart people you are directly related to, you as the starting individual, your parents, their parents, and so on. So to end this video, let us look at a sample pedigree chart. In this example, we look at the pedigree chart of President Ferdinand E. Marcos. Since President Marcos is our starting name in this chart, then we put his name as the beginning individual. In most pedigree charts, the primary individual is number 1, and his or her father is number 2, while the mother is number 3, and so on. In this case, we put the name Mariano Marcos in the number 2 slot, while we put Josef Iaterlin as number 3 for his mother's name. And as far as you can go, put in the names of the parents of each generation you climb in the pedigree chart. As seen here, Ferdinand Marcos's parents were Mariano Marcos and Josef Iadrilin. Mariano's parents were Fabian Marcos, and Crescencia Rubio. While his grandparents were Damaso Marcos, Leona Galimba, Basilio Rubio, and Eugenia Manglilan. Meanwhile, Josef Iadrilin's parents were, Fructuoso Iadrilin, and Imerenci Anaquitalio. Her grandparents were, Tori Bio Edrelin, Juan Acarpio, Herman Quitulio, and Lorenz Tagadas. And should you have more information on one of the ancestors here at the end, example Damaso Marcos, then do another pedigree chart with Damaso Marcos now occupying the primary individual slot in the chart. It is important that you list down everything you know about your direct ancestors. Include their birthplace, birth dates, marriage, and death information. The more you know, the more you have something to start with. Once you hit a dead end, then that is the time to do your initial research. Let us end here for this segment. In our next episode, we will explore the wealth of information one gets when going through church records. So that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something and enjoyed this presentation. Watch out for another video tomorrow at 8am PST. Thank you for watching, always stay safe, goodbye.